Hello guys, welcome back to the part 7 of our WCF TCP IP duplex chat application using Windows Presentation Foundation. At this part, we've just been going straight from where we left off. So if you if you just with it, then we're just going to continue straight away. So inside the scroll viewer, this is what we will add. We're going to add... items control and we're going to give you a name and we're going to call it message template so that's the name we're going to give it so inside it here we're going to put items <coughs> control dot item template so inside this this is what we're going to put data template so inside the data template we're going to put um grid and we're going to put the margin 5 background we're going to set the background from from code so we're going to put Biden um, item background So inside the uh, the grid, this is what we're gonna we're gonna put grid dot row definitions, and then row definitions first bit the height will be thirty two. We copy this bit here. We paste it, the next bit will be out, outer. I mean, the star. So, first, uh, after that, we, this is what we're gonna put. We're still inside the grid here. We're gonna put our grid, then grid dot row. This will be zero. So inside here we're going to put a stack panel, orientation horizontal, background, so the background will be binding, header background. So inside the inside the stat panel, this is what we're gonna add. Gonna add a label. Content will be binding name horizontal alignment. horizontal alignment left and then we've got a label content binding and this will be sent time <coughs> send time horizontal alignment will be right So as you can see, so we collapse this grid here 
Then we put another grid. So grid dot row. This this the one. That's the row one. So inside it, we're gonna put a stack panel orientation horizontal. Then inside I'm gonna put a label horizontal content alignment right horizontal alignment right Content binding message sent. So as you can see, it's look it's pretty simple. So now we're done with this bit here. So we're gonna collapse this bit. And then we're gonna open a new a new grid. So here, this is what we're gonna put. We're gonna put a new grid. Grid the row. This is two. Background. The background will be two B. Two C, two E, and inside it we're gonna put a stack panel. Orientation will be horizontal, and inside it we're gonna put a test box. The name will be message content. Background will be six eight six eight six eight. The margin will be twenty. Horizontal content alignment right. Um, actually, we're going to mo move these bits first, the margin, and then this is what we're going to put. After the background, we're going to put width. The width will be 200. And uh, we're going to put test wrapping to wrap. And we're going to put accept returns to, to true. And we're going to put our margin as 10. So that's what we're going to do. So the next bit is we're going to put a button. gonna name it send button and the content will be send the margin 20 horizontal alignment The horizontal alignment we're gonna make it we're gonna take it to right. 
So as you can see, it's very simple. And we're going to put the background as um, we go, okay, and we're going to put the foreground as white. So as you can see, this is what we've got so far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here. We're gonna move the the design bit here. So you end up with this bit here. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave the video from here and continue on the part seven. So like I always say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Have a lovely day. Peace.